Welcome to the Airplane Manager tutorial series. Today we're diving into our eAPIS integration feature, designed to streamline your international flight preparations directly through our platform. We'll begin by creating an eAPIS account and then connect it with an Airplane Manager. Our focus will also include setting up both aircraft and user profiles for autofill to ease the eAPIS filing process. We'll guide you through filing eAPIS for flights, discuss the use of personal CBP sender IDs for tailored communication, and conclude with the procedures for resubmitting changes to ensure accuracy. With that roadmap in mind, let's get started. First things first, if you haven't already, you'll need to create an eAPIS account with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security's Customs and Border Protection. Simply head to the eAPIS portal, click Enroll, and follow the steps to get set up. The most important step in the sign-up process is noting what email address you used for contact. This will be the email address that receives EAPIS confirmation emails. Once your EAPIS account is ready, log into Airplane Manager and navigate to Settings. Here, find Integrations and select EAPIS USA. You'll be greeted with instructions and a field to enter your CBP sender ID code, which you can find in your EAPIS account. Next, let's ensure your aircraft profiles are set for EAPIS submissions. Select Aircraft from the main navigation, choose an aircraft, and hit Edit. Look for Customs and EAPIS settings, enable them, and fill out the necessary information. This will auto-populate your Customs and EAPIS forms, making future filings fast and simple. Configuring your user profile is just as important. Navigate to your user profile and let's first click on Settings. You should see an option in here labeled International Traveler. This introduces a progress bar, giving you immediate insight into the EAPIS submission readiness of your profile. Look for green check marks next to completed, required fields and red X's where information is still needed. Achieving a 100% on the progress bar means you're fully set for EAPIS submissions. You'll want to do the same for passengers. Be aware, though, that adding passenger information for international flights doesn't have to be done up front. You can configure passenger details on the fly during the submission process by uploading their documents directly on the EAPIS submission form. Each passenger profile now includes the same international traveler setting, complete with a progress bar and indicators for required fields. This ensures you're fully informed of a profile's completion status, streamlining the submission process even further. Ready to file? Head over to the calendar, open a flight, and click on the ellipsis for the relevant leg. Select the EAPIS and Handling option to bring up the form. The information you've pre-configured will automatically fill in. Double-check everything for accuracy, and you're almost there. For crew and passengers, Airplane Manager simplifies things further. Upload a passport or visa, and our system will scan and autofill their details. Remember, accurate information is crucial so verify everything before proceeding. What if your destination isn't CBP approved? No worries. Airplane Manager automatically selects the nearest approved airport for your EAPIS submission, ensuring compliance without the hassle. Prefer to use your personal EAPIS sender ID for notifications? It's easy. Just head to your user profile from the navigation, find third-party app sync, and enter your personal ID in the corresponding field. This ensures that all correspondence goes directly to you. If you need to make changes and resubmit your EAPIS, it's crucial to inform the port of the update. Start by using the Clear Submission feature in Airplane Manager, but remember, this does not clear the submission with CBP. You must call the port to notify them of the cancellation or to verify the latest submission. This step is critical for ensuring your latest submission is used for clearance. And that's a wrap on EAPIS handling within Airplane Manager. With these steps, you're set for smoother, faster international flight preparations. For more tips and tutorials, stay tuned to our series. Safe travels and see you in the skies.